So for this week's video, I thought that I would do something a little different. My friend Jillian had this idea where she thought I could do her makeup for my channel. And also she just kind of wants to get on my channel. That's not true. <laughs> She's standing behind the door because I can't do my intro with like other people around me. It makes me feel too awkward. I will be doing her makeup and I'm going to do it in like the style of my drawings. So I'm going to try to emulate how my characters usually have like red noses and cheeks and like dark under eye bags and stuff, so she'll get a full tra transformation uh, that will be very exciting to see. So I'm gonna do Jillian's foundation even though her skin... Are you gonna do an overhead thing? Like an over voice? An over voice? Like, yeah, you yeah. mean a voice over? Okay, so I mixed together Jillian's foundation color with a little bit of yellow, peach, green, and a lot of white. Um, and I'm just using it to even out the skin on her cheeks because she has a little bit of a flush and around her nose is too sometimes when it's cold her nose gets red um, but really her skin is like ridiculously perfect and it didn't need much evening out at all um, and then I don't know if you can see but I'm actually contouring her nose because Jillian's nose is a little wider than my characters are and I also do like a very specific uh, way of shading it where the nose is always pretty red and there's like two circles and those are the highlights um, so I just took like a taupey brown and I'm contouring her nose and I add a little more red to it and now I'm adding like a little flush around the eyes and on the nose too as I do with my characters. Um, and I'm just keeping it sort of like on the lower half of the cheeks and not really bringing it up too much to the eyebrows because I, I'm going to eventually put like all that liner and blue shadow there so I'm trying to keep it fairly neutral. Um, yeah, so now I am adding like a darker burgundy color on the lower lash line and a taupey color near the brows, I think, and also doing some more shading around the nose. Um, but the brows of this girl are pretty close to her eyes and they're pretty thick, so I do eventually darken Jillian's up. Although I sent my sister a picture and she was pretty critical. She's like, her brows are too dark for her face. Thank you, Julia. It, I was following a picture, and I, but I appreciate the... Uh, the critique actually I didn't because my sister is like no offense does not know a ton about makeup so but you know what that's neither here nor there um so I finished her basic base I added a little bit of light contour and I set everything with a big fluffy powder brush and my Rimmel Stay Matte powder because it's really cheap and now I'm taking Firene uh, Polar Bear Firene is an indie um, eyeshadow company makeup company and I'm taking that shadow which is super sparkly and I'm putting it on the tip of the nose and the bridge and the cupid's bow because all of my people have like very intense highlights. Yeah and now I'm putting in this cream blue shadow to her lids and just patting that on to blend. Hi! <laughs> Two palettes for you, Grace. We have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. You're so excited. Like, this is what you've been waiting for. You're like, yes, you know, like, you're like, hi, I, I, have have the burgundy, I have the burgundy palette as well by Kylie because I'm really basic. Okay, get out of my car. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it transferred. Okay, so now I'm just taking a little fluffy black blending brush and I'm putting like this uh, light taupe color, light brown taupe color in the crease. Later, I ended up putting um, some purple, some darker purple because the girl that I'm referencing has uh, like darker shadows. And I guess Jillian and I did a little dance or something. I'm not really sure why we did that. Oh, uh, so I added like a little white highlight stripe, kind of like a halo eye in the middle of each eye, but she was not a fan and said that she looks like Colgate toothpaste. Thanks, Jill. Your hands are so small. Your hands are like Donald Trump small. <laughs> you were really wounded by that. I'm very wounded. I don't have a small on. So now I took my little cream palette and I mixed together brown and green and I'm just taking a flat shader brush and pushing it through her eyebrows to give her like that kind of messy, thicker brow that the girl has because my uh, character has like really dark brows and I added some black in at the tails to make them even darker and then I took my NYX brow gel in black which is actually like a really nice ashy uh, brown color and pushed that through too to make them even darker so Jillian has a power brow um, and then I did winged liner with my Physicians Formula like 
perfect line liner or something whatever the one in the silver and that took me so long because a winged liner just like terrifies me and I'm always worried that I'm gonna fail at this point Brooke came in with her like overachieving rice dish because um, Jillian and I tried to make rice and it didn't do quite as well we ended up eating like beans and rice and Brooke made like avocado and egg it was just like really good um, so now I'm highlighting her her cheekbones because the girl and the picture has like a pretty intense highlight. I ended up using a bunch of different shades. Um, oh yeah, and then I went in with a dark purple from the peach palette that Brooke so generously brought. And I also sort of dragged down the tail, like the front part of her eyebrows. I added some shadows there too to make her eyes look like they are closer to her eyebrows. Um, and I, I think I even did some lightly sort of at the bottom of her eye to simulate eye bags. Uh, I did more highlight all the way around and then I took some glitter glue and I started putting glitter on all the high points of her face like uh, the cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and nose. And right about now my camera ran out of storage and stopped filming so I don't have much footage but all I did really was just add a little uh, drawn on lashes onto the lower lash line and contoured a little bit more. So yeah, that was it. Uh, this was this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you can kind of see the resemblance between the painting to the makeup. Um, please let me know in the comments if you liked it. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of the day slash night slash morning or wherever time zone you are in. <laughs>